Hey guys, it's David from mdbootstrap.com and in this video I'm gonna show you the fastest way to deploy your backend project which relies on either Node or PHP. So without further ado, let's get started. In order to start, we're gonna need MDB CLI. If you don't have it yet, please navigate to mdbootstrap.com slash CLI and then you're gonna find the instruction how to install it. MDB CLI stands for command line interface. So once you go to mdbootstrap.com slash CLI, click on the get started and you're gonna find instruction and video how to install MDB CLI on your computer. Let me just quickly remind you that you need to have node and npm installed and once you have it just type npm install minus g mdb cli that's gonna install mdb cli on your computer now once you have that open a command line and navigate to location of your choice now i'm gonna create a new project using mdb cli so i'm gonna type mdb init minus minus blank that will create an empty project i'm gonna call it node because i want to have node project in it now it's time to choose which package manager we want to use. You can choose either NPM or Yarn. I'm gonna use the first one, NPM, and then I'm gonna go through wizard accepting all default values. Once we have that, we can see that our project has been created and we're gonna navigate into that project. Now I'm gonna open it in uh, editor. So this is our project, it's empty now. So I'm gonna create index.js file. Now let's write some code. So I'm gonna write very simple Node.js application. So let me quickly do that. Okay, so this is a very simple application. Um, without going into much into details, this is just a very simple server, which is gonna serve us a simple hello there and a date. So now it's high time to publish it. So we're gonna use mdb publish command. Now in case of frontend projects, we just need to type mdb publish and that's gonna be and deployed into our server. So if you're using Angular, React, Vue, or JavaScript, it will work right away. In case of backend projects, we need to specify which kind of backend we want to use. So if we type minus minus backend and type enter, we're gonna see a list of supported backend platforms. So in our case, let's use, let's say node 10. And as soon as specify that, our project is being deployed. Now, one thing I didn't mention, obviously, for, for the very first time when you use it, it might ask you to log in. So you're gonna use MDB login and specify your username and password, which you use to log into mdbootstrap.com webpage. Now, once you deploy it, you're gonna see this message, success, your app is running on, and you're gonna see this URL and port. So now let's see whether it works. And yeah, this is working fine. So our application, our backend application is working perfectly fine and has just been deployed to MDB servers. So you can share it with entire world. As you can see, we didn't um, include SSL. This is something which you have to do on your site, on your application site. And I highly encourage you to subscribe to our channel because in the future video, I'm gonna show you how you can deploy your project, including a database and including your custom domain as well as SSL certificate. So now let's do exactly the same, but with PHP. So I'm gonna create a new project. I'm gonna go one level up and I'm gonna say MDB init blank project. I'm gonna call it PHP. I'm gonna use NPM again, accept all values and then navigate to PHP and open it in a editor. Let's create index.php file and let's say PHP echo hello world. Now let's do exactly the same we did previously. So MDB publish minus minus backend equals 
PHP 7.4, let's say. And CLI will do everything on our behalf. Success. Our application is running on new URL. And voila, our PHP project has just been deployed to MDB servers. Now, if you want to see the list of all your projects, you can type MDB info, which will list all your backend projects. And you're going to see the current status. If you want to see all your projects, including frontend one, you can type MDB projects. And this will list all your projects, including URLs. Or you can navigate to mdbgo.com, where you're going to find the list of all your recent projects, including panels to manage projects. You can create repository for each of them. You can share access with your friends to your projects or a link to your project. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask them either in the comments below or you can join our Facebook group. You're going to find the link in the description down below. Actually, you're going to find all the links you, you need in the description down below. Link to CLI, link to mdb.com, link to other tutorials. And then again, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe our channel and like this video. Uh, because as I said, in the future videos, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use database and how to create the full project, including front end and back end side, and deploy it with single comment like you just seen. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.